Hello, crafty friend Sparkle here. So I have a little show and tell. So you, as you know, I've been messing around with some diamond painting dots. And I saw these little purses. And I have another one that I didn't do yet, but it's just so pretty. And I found that this uh, Dora Clear High Gloss, I just put a little bit on here and then I paint it with a paintbrush and, and nothing moves. Everything is sealed really nice. So that's really cute and it's got it's got a handle, a uh, long handle. Don't know if I like that, but um, yeah, you can put another handle on it if you want. So there's that. And then um, these were earrings. I did not expect them to be this big. I might have showed these you these before. Again, I use the same principle of putting this product on it, and they just sparkle. Um, so I put some earring backs on on these. They're they're just um, kind of big, okay? Not my thing. Then I thought, you know, they could go on a journal. Unfortunately, I don't have a journal here, but you know, maybe. Um, and punch a hole and put them on a journal. It'd have to be the right style journal. Anyway, there's eight of these. Where then I thought, why don't I just put um, some beading in there and just make uh, keychains out of them, like I have with um, my hearts. Now you know Sparkle loves hearts. And um, these are all double sided. But um, this door clear really looks nice. I was surprised. It's not sticky. It didn't uh, leave a film. And I like it. So you know I like cards. So I have these cards. And then um, this was a like a wind chime kind, a bigger one. But I just like the glitter and the sparkle. So I just thought I would share that with you and once I decide what to do with these like I said maybe I'll just make keychains key out of them then they're then they're cute so I'll have to um, find out what size um, beading is in here I have some but I don't know if it's the right size let me look Uh, I might have to get some of the hooks, though. Yeah. So that's probably what I'll do because, um, you know, they're big for a journal. They're not heavy. So, yeah, that's an option. But I'll have to get some of those little um, clips. So I'll take that with me. And you can get that right at the hardware store. So I just wanted to show you those. I really, really really like the purse. I just think it's um, a cute little clutch. Even to put some um, ephemera in if you're gifting it to somebody. It's got a lot of sparkle and charm. So that's what I was up to the last couple days playing. And, and I like this because I've tried uh, Mod Podge and and some other um, varnishes, and I did not like them. This is the one I like. So, now I want to give another shout out to Robin over at Daisy Journal Company. This is another kit that she um, blessed us with, and it's called the Glam, G-L-A-M, Party. Um, these I printed, there's two pages here, a uh, five by seven. You'll see the other pieces and some things that I made. Um, yeah, and then she has some pretty background papers, which I've already messed around with. And then there's some uh, journal pages as well. There's 25 pages in the kit. Uh, here's two more. There's some uh, labels or tag tags, uh, some hearts, Sparkle Likes hearts. And I'll show you what I was uh, playing around with. I saw these when I was um, uploading, and I thought, clusters. So here's just a simple um,
cluster with a doily, a piece of the background paper, tea bag, and some of the elements, and then I sewed it. Then she also had a, a, a sheet with a bunch of strips across. Sorry, I cut into everything. So I cut these, and I, these I saw belly band clusters. Aren't they cute? And I just ran a seam down them. And, you know, you can cut it off, or if you don't want to use them as belly bands, you can just use them as uh, snippets. And then I saw little envelopes. So I was able to print some of these uh, with the paper right from my printer. Uh, being careful not to jam my printer, but aren't these cute? So I was thinking either I just tucked in the um, I just tucked in the the flaps because I didn't know what I was doing. But I thought these would even be cute once I cover. The backs, I would just cover the backs with just regular paper here. That these would be cute as a um, tab journal. Tab, you know, tab binded journal. Um, get some more envelopes, cover them or print on them. And you could have, um, you could have pockets. Some of the pockets are on the wrong side because my envelopes were upside down. But um, yeah, or just um, decorate these as little collages. So I might do that. So that's what we have. I cut some hearts out of my um, coffee or tea tea bags. Please hold. So this is what I came up with. Um, yeah, I had some hearts here. Things are blowing away. I had to take a quick phone call. Sorry about that. All right. Let's just hide these under here. So, yeah. So I saw clusters, belly bands, and, um, of course, a journal sometime down the road. But right now I just felt like playing. So we have three items here that we could make. Let's make some of these. So I just used... Um, the paper from the kit and I just cut it with my decorative um, ruler and I'm just using um, I had some uh, worn lipstick ink out so we can use that it seems like a nice contrast to this kit man we are so blessed to get these kits I'm telling you I'll leave her links below as, as I had in the past, and you can find her there. So we'll take one of these and, um, yeah, just build a cluster like you normal, normally would. We'll just grab some uh, tricks out of our uh, little container here and see what we want to do. We want to add paper. Um, we have some scraps already cut out. Uh, Let's see. I just cut everything smaller because um, that's my style here. But you could cut them full size. Um, let's see what we like on here. Oh, you know I like the hearts. Yeah. So it's Friday. I was just scheduling some appointments next week. Follow up on my stomach. And uh, yeah, it says, You are the most incredible person I have ever known. Oh, that would be sweet to give to somebody, huh? So. Yes, yeah, just gather your layering supplies, lace, ribbons, paper. I'm trying to um, stick primarily with the kit items. So, oh, that's not going to work on there. I don't much, that's too much pink. Let's take this hard here, okay? And, um, yeah, the beauty of the kits is... 
you can paint you could cut out as many items as you want and reprint again these were a five by seven because um i wanted to um bring them down a little bit in size and that's just the easy way for me to do it Okay, that's a better size for me. And this one just has some words on it. And let's see what else we want to put on there. We definitely need a word. And this says glitz, sparkle. We're going to say sparkle on this one. I love it when I look at some paper sometimes and I just see something that I want to make. Okay, so we need something uh, behind this. Maybe one of these paper hearts. A smaller one. I might have to cut some more. So if we go like that and add some more paper and then scatter that one here and then our, our word up here you know something like that would be cute and then we can put some sparkly things on here all right so we're just um we're just going to get some ideas here and just uh, paper clip some things. Then I'll do my gluing when I'm satisfied and then I'll take them to the sewing machine. So something like that. So it will have to be, you know what? Let's not be silly. Let's just glue it down because I just don't have enough room on this desk. So we're going to put a little bit of glue here and put our um, curtain, curtain backing and our little uh, paper heart. Okay. And you might want to pull this over just a little bit. And then um, we can add this piece of paper under here just for some contrast. And then I want this heart here. Those of you that know me know that I love hearts. And then after we sew, after we sew down here, then we could put um, some pops of bling because that really makes it shine. But the stitching really helps. Okay, so here's here's one. They're that 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 easy. So let's um, let's try this color, which I don't know what this color is. Oh, I ended up putting the pink heart on there and I was going to put this one on. That's okay. There's enough contrast. See? We can change our mind. It's all good. Keep your glue closed. It's starting to get hot in the desert and I don't want to dry up all my product. have here. We can use that one there. And um, let's see, we've got a piece of this white netting that would 
show a little bit. I don't know if I have to put something um, behind it that's got a little more color to it. So if we do that, we do that. Or do we want a piece of, um, just a piece of lace? That looks pretty too. I think we'll do that. And um, take one of these. These little cutesy things. These would make great tabs if you were going to put a tab on something, which maybe we'll do. Maybe we'll do that with um, our envelope over here. Remind me so I don't forget. Yeah, I like the idea of just sewing everything down the middle. It's just a cute look. All right. And if you want to ink this a little bit, you can. And then I'll go down there. And then we'll take one of our words. This says fancy. Just like that. Just like that, we have another one. So, let's put our piece of lace down here. And piece of this. Let's see if we can scrunch it up a little bit. Let's scrunch it up a little bit. And let's um, get our heart on there. Okay, I'm not so much worried about it staying down because we're going to sew that. And just layer just layer your your items on here. Okay. Let's just put a paper clip there for now. So we have these two new ones. And then we have these two finished ones. Okay? So we'll leave these to go to the machine in a little bit. Let them dry a little bit. Okay. So don't need that. Let's see what we have next. Let's um let's do some of these clusters. So for these, we're just taking a piece of background paper. Preferably something we didn't use yet. I have another piece.
Nope. Okay. I thought I had another piece. Let me clean some of this. I'm feeling overwhelmed. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, we're not doing the envelopes yet. We're doing these. So I just have some doilies and we're just going to ink, ink them up a little bit. Then we can tear them or do what we want with them. And then, um, yeah, this I'm going to use to back the envelopes with. So put that there. So let's use a different paper. And um, I like the stars here. So let's just cut some of this. And so that can be our base, and we can put our doily on top of that, except there's two. That'll go there, and maybe one of our paper hearts. Eh, don't blow away. <laughs> oh, that's funny that I'm working in the desert and everything's blown away. Let's glue this down. So we're just thinking clusters, okay? Just using the kit. And some embellishments. Let's um, put a little piece of this behind the heart. And one of the coffee filter hearts. Never have too many hearts. Okay. Then for our focal points, hmm, let's do. I don't know what these are, but they sure are cute. These would make nice tabs as well. Just fold them in half. Yeah. We're definitely going to have to do that on our envelope. So, you know, if we do it like this, and then um, the one that's already got the back on it, cute tabs, cute tabs, okay, let's uh, keep that here for an idea, sorry, I go on these these bunny trails. Okay, so we're back to this one. I need a, a focal point. So um, let's. These are kind of big. 
Let's take the last small one that I have printed. And again, we'll assemble them, then we'll um, run stitching through them. And you will have some embellishments for your journal. Or happy mail or whatever, whatever your fancy might be. that and then let's take some of these little hearts And you could take uh, some of this background paper and cut some more hearts out if you want. Um, you know, even something like this. Let's make a little one. Have fun. Just have fun. Make it your own and enjoy the journey. Okay, so we're going to put those there and then we'll get one of our words. And this time we're going to say glitz. Okay, so let's glue our hearts down. We want one over here. We'll sort of stack them. And a blue one. And then this pink one. And then we can put our word over here. Okay, isn't that cute? So, we have a couple clusters. We'll get ready to sew on those. In. And then, for these, um, for now we'll just decorate them, okay? So we have that coffee filter, let's see. This one's a little darker. Let's um, snip this off a little bit. So that's the top. That's the pattern. So we can put that there. Have a little bit of color on that. Let's put it down so it doesn't blow away. this because we'll um we'll put something on here um and we're gonna take one of these tags and we're just gonna put it up here for now one of these tabs
and let's just slip it in here because I'm not sure if I want to close that yet or not. At any rate, they're going to be cute little envelopes. Let's take a, um, a word. And we can put that up there. this behind the word. on there so yeah you can use different elements now let's decorate this a little bit uh, do we want some ribbon or a piece of lace let's put this on here This is just in my scrap bin, so it's a little eclectic. Need something else on here for sure. Um Take this last part. Your spark, your sparkle as bright as every star in the sky combined. Oh, sparkle for me. I don't know if this will go on there. Let's see. Let's see how this plays out, my friends. So did I tell you it's Friday? Yeah. It's Friday. This was a long week. That can go there. But it's it's naked yet, huh? It needs something. Um No, don't like that. Don't like that. Um, how about that one? How about that one? That one's a little bit better, but I'm not loving it. Maybe because it's wonky. Maybe because it's wonky, and I don't like wonky all the time. Yeah, that could work, and then some bling. Oops, don't want all that on there. Okay, 
Let's do it, my friends. forgot to, to back, so let me do that real quick. Let's see what we have here. We can do it with, uh, that's the striped one. Let's do it with, with this paper here. So we're going to with this piece here. Yeah, let's do this piece here. So before I thicken this up too much with things, let's go. didn't work straight. And I know I'm not going to get it straight, so we're going to cover this with something like this. So let's um, tear this a little bit. And let's put this across here as a border, and that will cover my blender. So, let's ink the edges here. Okay. So, yeah. There's always a solution. I don't get too hung up on stuff like this. I just figure, you know, just make something happen. Okay, and then we'll put some stuff on there, and um, I don't know if I'll stitch, maybe just here, down here, we'll see, I'll be right back. So here you have um, this um, cluster sewed, stitched, and uh, I'm going to add some um, bling to it. This one, and I see this one's upside down. Yay, sparkle. Uh, this one. And then we have these other ones that we made earlier. So, um, this is just small bling that I um, keep on my desk. And a lot of these are from um, my diamond projects. Leftover things. So, it um I get to enhance my pages and things with some of this good some of these goodies. I think that might go up there. And um these are just the smaller ones, okay. So 
show if I want to put like um uh, you know a set of three maybe that could go up there so yeah then you get to do the fun part just um I don't hope this will hold. It's my arc letter and it should. Yeah, so I save things in here and then I get to use them. Like the other day when I was making these, um, these are all from my leftover kits and things. So, yeah. You always have options, you know. So this one I decided to just seal it. And I just um, stitched around the whole envelope. If I get my finger off here, I could show you. So I just stitched around um, the three sides. Okay. And, that, and that's a cluster. All right. This one, let's see something um not too big that's too big let's get some of these sparklies let's see if we have any more of these sparklies these are teardrops hard to see There's a silver one. There's a red one, a pink. And there is a glittery one. So, let's uh, put one down here. And let's put one one up here. And let's put one uh, over here. Just for a little sparkle. So we have party, we have glitz, we have sparkle. What should we do with sparkle? Ooh, here's a big here's a big old butterfly, but I don't think I want anything big on these. Um, little little white hearts which we could paint pink but let's not we'll just put them on here that one's too big Hmm. Let's. This one looks smaller. Okay. So let's just. Um, I'm gonna use this. I think it might stick better. One. Two. Three. One, two, one, two, 
and three. Cute. And if that's too white, we can take a um, sorry. We can take a Copic and let it let the glue dry a little bit. But that that's just softening it up a little bit. This one might be almost dry. Yeah, this one might be a dry one. Not really. Okay, it's softening up the white a little bit. So it's more of a pearly color, okay? And then we have this guy here. So, um, I'll put that purple flower in there. I like that. So let's put that there. Since my heart's upside down. And let's see. Something up here by no, don't like that. No, you know what? I'm just going to leave that one like that. Just like a little something. So let's see what we have here, my friends. So we have this cluster. And then we have this cluster. And then we have an envelope, decorated 4x4 four four envelope. And then we have some uh, belly bands and or um, snippets. So I hope that uh, gives you some ideas and you are inspired to um, see a kit and then uh, decide what you're going to do with it to make it yours. Bye now. Have a beautiful day.